Hey everyone, John Chow here from JohnChow.com and welcome to the Dotcom Lifestyle Vlog. I'm here at the San Clemente Outlet for Cars and Coffee. Gonna check out some cool cars. Let's go. Cars and Coffee officially opens up at 9 a.m. in the morning. I just got here. It's a uh, 9.10 and as you can see the lot is <laughs> pretty much filling up already. Cars are still coming in. Oh, let's check that out. An Alfa Romero. I haven't seen one of these in like forever. Looks in very good condition too. All right, air condition. Very important in California. Another Alpha parking in. Lotus Elise, yeah, they're all coming now. Porsche Carrera T. Uh, you're supposed to actually pack it in, but this guy, that's all right, that's fine. Now, what in the world is this? Oh my God, it's so small. It's next to a Honda NSX or an Acura NSX. Uh, look at this thing. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm still lost for word what this is. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's next to uh, Acura NSX, one, one older one. Nice engine there. 200,000 miles. Impressive. And he's an Uber. God, I love it. That's why I racked the 200,000 miles. It's an Uber Acura NSX. <laughs> and this one probably doesn't have 200,000 miles. And what in the world? Okay. Uh, that's not stock, that's for sure. Okay, I, I believe this looks like a mild manor Impala SS, but holy crap, there's a Whipple charger on this thing. There's a Whipple charger. Mimbo brakes. What the? Yeah, this looks like a mild manor family transportation, but How much she pumping out, man? That's pretty insane. Cars and Coffee started off in Irvine, California. It was the original. And since then, it has just expanded worldwide. There are chapters all over the world. But uh, to this very day, this one here is the biggest in the world. Uh, the one in Irvine was shut down because it got too big. Uh, apparently, the Irvine company shut it down. So it moved down here to the San Clemente outlets. And the mall here welcome, welcomes them because they got the space. Nice Lamborghini Aventador with a matte paint job. Yeah, it's a flat back matte paint. This is not a wrap. This is actually an actual paint option. It's See the big massive 6.5 liter V12? Actually, I can still feel the heat coming off the car. It's just, it, just, it just came here. It, it is hot. And backing in now is a really nice Nissan GTR. Look at the lip on those wheels. Motorcycles are welcome at Cars and Coffee. Normally, they park in a motorcycle parking spot. But this is kind of like a hybrid. It's a, it's a Cam-Am. It's a Cam-Am. It is less than a motorcycle, but it's a three-wheeler. Looks kind of cool. It's made by Bombardier, Canadian company. Yeah, they also make the airplanes. Audi R8 with a VF engineering sticker. Now that could mean, it could mean that he has a supercharger on there or he just have some other stuff. Okay, I don't see no supercharger on there. So he's got some other VF, probably a VF tune. 
and there goes Lamborghini. He just showed up and then now he's leaving. See, nothing separates a man from his Corvette and his dog. That's right. Good girl, good girl. And seat just for her. Pontiac GTO convertible. Uh, check out that motor. Tri pack. <laughs> A couple of Indianapolis 500 Pace Corvette. This is the C5, and that's the C4. And this is the C7, and here we have a C4 ZR1, fourth generation. That's why C4, C7, seventh generation. And this one has a very special motor. It was made by Lotus, actually. Uh, well, actually, Lotus designed the motor, and Mercury Marine actually built it. It's the only Corvette motor with dual overhead cam and four valves per cylinder. So four cam, 32 valve. It made 375 horsepower, and back in 1991 when it came out, 89 or 1990 when it came out, it was like, it was called the King of the Hill. It was, yeah, it was world beating at that time. And I see, I see the owner here has the original sticker. So the original Corvette back in 1995 when he bought this was $36,785. And the engine, see the ZR1 engine package, this engine costs $31,000. $258. That's how much it added to the cost of the Corvette. So that brings the price of this Corvette to $69,653. And back in 1995, that was one expensive Corvette. Yeah, that engine cost almost as much as the car. So we have a Datsun 240. And the guy put a, an LS1 motor in it. So this is a Chevy 350 V8. Normally, Supposed to be like a six inline six in here, but I guess the engine bay is big enough to transplant a Corvette motor basically. Wow, it's pretty stripped out. I see the fuel cell there, the uh, five point racing harness, <laughs> and the LS1 motor. <laughs> so uh, basically, this guy took the motor from this Corvette and transplanted it into that. Speaking of Corvette, this is one of my favorite Corvettes of the show. This is a Callaway C6 Corvette. And what's so special about it? Well, first of all, we got the motor here with the polished Callaway supercharger. And it's signed by Reese Callaway himself. But what else is special about this, uh, about this Corvette? other than the special colorway supercharger hood. This is exclusive to the colorway Corvette. Uh, these wheels, see, uh, this owner went for the optional colorway Dimag carbon fiber wheels. So these wheels, the, the barrel is made of carbon fiber. It's very light, very, very strong. And the, I guess the center units are made from magnesium. So uh, carbon and magnesium combined, it's a super light wheel. It only weighs like 14 pounds super expensive like really expensive but they look good and they enhance performance Jeep Grand Cherokee you figure it's a typical SUV what's so special about it oh this particular Grand Cherokee has a 6.4 liter Hemi it's basically a, a, a Grand Cherokee with a Hellcat motor now this is a classic the Plymouth Roadrunner Superbird yeah the, the, and uh, yeah, he, he just won the prize for the biggest wings at Cars and Coffee. There you go. That's definitely the biggest wing. Oh, look at that! Look at that shifter! Look at that shifter! That is awesome. If it looks kind of familiar, it's because it's basically is the aerodynamic version of, of this thing, the Dodge Charger. And the Dodge Charger looks familiar is because it was made famous in the TV show, The Dukes of Hazard. You know those good old boys? Yeah, that's, these are the cars. This is a beautifully restored Z28 Camaro. 
Wow, look at that. Totally brought back the factory specs. Yeah. The owner spent a pretty penny on this. Right down to the original uh, tires that he used and the wheels. And there you go, check out that motor. That is a 302. Back then it was known as a Zapper, the Zapper 302. 290 horsepower, uh, four bell carburetors. It's, uh, <laughs> I wish the owner could start it up because it, they sound pretty good. Lots of Cromels here. Z28, Cromels, Cromel SS, ZL1 Cromeros. Ah, I think the Cromel Club must decide to meet up today. Cars are still coming in. <laughs> Getting busy now. Austin Martin Vanquish. Basically, when you drive this car, you feel like you gotta put on a tuxedo and say your name is Bond. and his dog yep okay supercar row we start off with a very rare 1973 porsche 911 tcis and it's for sale asking hundred nineteen thousand dollars dodge viper and then what in the world is this my words what is this Look at the size of that motor. Oh my words. What is this thing? Wow. <laughs> Pretty much racing slick. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what this is. If you know, uh, let me know in the comment because I have no idea what this is. But it looks very light, very powerful, and very, very fast. It'll probably be scary to drive. Can you out? Very nice uh, purple 570. Another Lamborghini Aventador. Porsche 911 Turbo in blue. Another Porsche GT3 RS. Uh, another Porsche here. Uh, um, another Porsche Porsche Club. Another GT3. GT3 RS. <laughs> Another GT3 RS. Oh, mommy, GT3 RS is it's GT3 RS day. Another one. Actually, this is a GT2 RS. So this is a GT3. This is a GT2. They look the same. Is that this is naturally aspirated? This one is turbocharged. It makes more power, and overall it is faster and more expensive. Audi R8 V12 version. Audi R8. Another. I mean, not V12. V10. Duh. Yeah. All right. Another V10 Audi R8. Uh, Maserati Gran Turismo with a, with a wing in the back. It, uh, I'm sorry, but this wing does not go with the car. I'm sorry, it, it just doesn't. I mean, it, it, you look, you, you raced out a Maserati. I mean, I hope you're happy. McLaren 570. Huracan, Oregon Convertible. For a California 650S Roaster, Dorado Roaster, Lamborghini, Lamborghini Performante. This is the Huracan Performante edition. It's uh, it's kind of it's really really cool because uh, it uh, it has active aerodynamics. I and I show this to you. It's kind of but what happens is the uh, it sucks in air here, and it this is hollow. Air goes up in here, and then it comes out through these little vents right here and depending on how you want to go fast or you need to have more downforce it will change the airflow over the wing so if you need to stick to the ground it will add more downforce you need to go fast it will create less drag so it's kind of cool and it doesn't add any weight to the car all right here's the new austin martin uh, dbs super legera super legera supposed to sound for super light but the thing is as heavy as a hippopotamus Sounds really nice and looks really good. 
J Sport GT, another 570, another 570, and a Ferrari F360 Spider, and it's for sale. Yeah, it is for sale. Asking $87,900. So if you want to buy it, give them a call. And they're for 30. 458 uh, Ferrari F12 and I see here a Ferrari 599 so basically these two cars are like cousin this F12 right here is their successor to the 599 so both have naturally aspirated V12 motor this one made 600 I think 611 and this one makes 730 because it's the more up-to-date version F12 I really like. F12 technology uses, this is called, this is called an air bridge right here. So you see, if you look at that, air goes through here, goes through this air bridge, goes down through this tunnel here and comes back up here and goes exits that way. So that applies downforce without the need for a big giant wing. And the, uh, the old 599 did it with this thing here called a flying buttress. Same thing, but uh, when they updated the car, they, they moved the air bridge to here. And lastly, here we have Simon's uh, supercharged Camaro. He's the organizer of Cars and Coffee, and his company is called the Bracketeer. So if you need a, a bracket to, I guess, hold your fire extinguisher, give him, give him a shout. This is the coffee part of Cars and Coffee. I see, uh, yeah, it's really busy today. They're going off to the spill-off lot, so this is a, and cars are still coming in. Yeah, I think this might be a, a record turnout day because uh, the lot's already full, but I see there's a lineup of cars still coming in right now. Anyway, let's check out the spill-off lot, beginning with this really, really nice. This is a Porsche GT3 Touring Edition. Basically, take the Porsche GT3 that's ready for the racetrack and that kind of stuff. We move the big wing so no one knows you're a boy racer. And you have basically a GT3 that's been totally stealth without the big wing, which I actually like because I don't need to attract the kind of attention that GT3 would attract. So you got a four liter natural aspirated V8. It's got a manual transmission. So it's basically, yeah, it's, it's basically, it's a full blown track car that you can drive on the street. McLaren 720S, very nice. And there you go, there's a GT3. So this is the regular GT3 in, in a puke green color. You know, so arrest me, look at me. I'm trying to attract attention. So you could have this, we got the big wing, or you could have this version that looks suddenly very, very sedated without the big wing. More Porsche, here's another GT3, a GT3 RS, and another GT3 RS. Cool. And this is kind of cool. This is a Porsche Turbo with a, I forgot what kit that's got. Tech Art, yeah, Tech Art kit. So this is a Tech Art Porsche 911 with blue wheels. And right here, I guess we'll end it right here. This is the BMW Club, I guess, doing their little cars and coffee meetup. So it looks like someone sent the word out to have a BMW come to Cars and Coffee because uh, yeah, this whole section is all BMWs. Anywhere from M3s, M4s, M5s, but mostly I see M3s, lots of M3s. Uh, that is pretty much it for today's uh, Cars and Coffee. Very, very good show. Um, start, sun's starting to come out. I'm starting to need to feel need to take off my jacket, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually do that. Go get myself a pretzel and uh, head on home and get ready for a dot com lunch. So, if you enjoyed this episode, give me a thumbs up. Uh, please like and share my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.